Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So I just wanted to make a quick video and tell you guys what's been going on with uh, Linux, with my Linux and everything else. So uh, in my last video, which was the Arch install, I was going to say I was going to make uh, two more videos uh, that on CNC Bouncer and the Arch Linux, or sorry, the Gentoo uh, XFCE install. So with the ZNC, uh, I did have it on my Raspberry Pi running Arch Linux. However, a lot of those, uh, a lot of the ZNC was uh, disconnecting me, and I had to restart it every time. Um, so I decided to put Raspbian back on, uh, and none of the disconnection has has occurred. So I wanted to, uh, you know, make sure everything was working fine before I did that. Uh, the second one was, uh, for those who aren't in Gentoo, uh, there's been a new profile list. So in Gentoo, you have to set a profile, and it's got a bunch of services and different packages uh, to help you maintain a healthier um, Gentoo system. So they updated their new profiles from 13 to 17 and with that you had to rebuild GCC, rebuild a bunch of programs and then redo the entire system. Now on my system here there was 1192 updates. I got to about 824 updates and um, sorry about that and it got to the MESA package, which was the 17.0.10 or .1.10, and it would error out. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the latest one, which I have 158 packages still to to do it, but it keeps airing out on this very first one, on the on the MESA. Now, I don't know if there's a fix just yet, so I'm unable to uh, to update my system on the desktop here without doing this. And if I exclude it, a bunch of other packages aren't getting updated. So I'd have to exclude them, and I just don't feel like doing that. I may try to go up to the next version, which is in the like uh, it, they're being tested right now so I don't know yet about that so I'm gonna wait until hopefully it gets fixed so next time I sync the porch tree hopefully this gets fixed because as again as you can see there's a hundred and fifty eight packages and that takes about a couple hours for me to compile that so but I wanted to let you guys know that I am officially off uh, Sorry, I'm officially off Arch Linux. Um, there's a couple reasons why. One, the nonstop updates was getting to me because you know, with Arch Linux being a rolling release, you just have nonstop updates uh, on your system, and it can get in the way of life. It could get in, in the way of family and stuff like that even though it's a the higher end of the binary packages uh, OS's it still takes time because if you do run into an issue you have to research that and stuff like that second one Arch was getting boring for me now when I moved over to it about four and a half years ago I, I moved over to it from Manjaro because I wanted to learn command line and I wanted to learn nuts and bolts of Linux. Arch Linux was definitely a good jumping off point, that's for sure. But once you have the system installed, it is very simple to maintain it. And it's very simple to get new programs and stuff like that um, with the AUR and with the general repos. And it does it for you. So with like a 
uh, Linux from scratch. You have to compile everything. You have to make sure, or even if you get something from GitHub, you have to make sure that it goes into the proper folder. But with a with a simple make package, uh, their make package, it does that for you. So you're really not learning a whole lot with it. And, you know, again, after four and a half years, it gets really tedious and it could get time consuming and you're not really learning a whole lot of stuff unless you're tinkering which I used to do before you know I had my son I used to love to tinker but you know with just trying to stay on like i3 here or KDE on here I'm learning a little bit more uh, doing that and then I was on arch so the third one is the community is, you know, crap again. Again, once I started four years ago, their community had a reputation of being crap, you know, shitheads. Part of my language. I try not to swear too much on my videos, but they're, they're shitheads. And I just didn't like that. Um, but when I went into their IRC, I didn't see much of that. And, you know, back then, like, Arch was this, you know, monument, like, p people put it up on a plateau or up on the, you know, to make sure that this was this, you know, holy OS. And it's not. It, it's just like anyone else, any of the others. It has its highs and lows. It's got its good parts and its bad parts. But, pe but I I, th I feel like, especially now, I feel there's a lot more Arch users out there, and they have to verify themselves that, hey, guess what, I'm using Arch, so I must be a Linux expert. Uh, that, to me, in my eyes, I just see nonstop stuff like that. And then when I was on Arch, I was in the testing repos for four and a half years. I didn't, you know, have maybe three things break on me and I fixed them fairly quickly. The Linux kernel broke a virtual mach virtual box module and I didn't know how to report it so I went into their IRC channel saying hey where can I report this and they were not very nice to me and I'm like uh, I've been on this thing for four and a half years you know I I know how to do stuff you know I've had LVM, Lux, stuff like that, you know, I was, and I was starting to do ZFS, which is still in its infancy on Linux, I, I feel. So I, I was just getting fed up with, like, it seems to me like a lot of Arch users need to pat themselves on the back saying, hey, I'm running this great distro, which it was, I, I would not hesitate to go back to Arch as long as the community is more solid than it is. I, I Now that's one of the main things I look for in a distro. How's their community? If I need help, will I get bashed for doing something that I wasn't supposed to without knowing it? Or are they going to take me with like hugging arms saying, hey, come join us. That's a really nice group of people. That's why I joined the Linux distro community because that's what that's the vibe that I got. But I never I I just don't get that feeling from the Arch community right now. But again, if I had more time and if their community was better, I would probably stay on Arch because, you know, Arch is good, but I don't need constant bleeding edge software. It's nice to test it out. But for an everyday user who just does some YouTube videos and watches YouTube videos and does basic stuff, I don't need to be on the bleeding edge. But I didn't want to go to a release cycle either. I wanted to be unrolling. So I decided to put Gen 2 back on my uh, laptop. So hopefully... I don't have as many issues as I did before. I think I've learned a lot just being on Gen 2 uh, since I think it was February that I finally got onto it. So I've learned a lot and I keep learning and I don't feel 
at least right now, that Gen 2 is going to get stale for me. I did consider going back, going to the BSDs, uh, like uh, NetBSD, FreeBSD, OpenBSD, but two things stopped me. One was they don't have proper Dropbox support, and two, uh, I could not install the operating system without being on Ethernet, and I wanted to do it through Wi-Fi. I'm sure there's a way, but it's not as simple as saying, like in the Arch Linux installation, Wi-Fi menu, or even having a prompt or network manager already started for it. So if someone knows an easy way for like NetBSD or even FreeBSD that I can actually use my Wi-Fi signal or my Wi-Fi card, I would try that because I find the BSD is interesting. So I just wanted to let you guys know what's been, you know, going on and everything and I try to make this quick but there's a lot of stuff I needed to, you know, get off my chest and let you guys know what's been going on. I do plan on making the ZNC bouncer uh, one, so I'm going to try to make it this weekend, but uh, with it being the holidays, I still have to do some Christmas shopping and I have to clean the house for, you know, family to come and stay. So it is getting a little hectic, especially with Christmas being two weeks away, but I will try to make the ZNC uh, a little bit uh, this weekend or sometime this week, but I definitely I will get it before the end of the year and I will move over to XFCE on here because I'm not really digging KDE really anymore I could probably stay on it I keep bouncing back and forth so maybe I'll keep it on but it's this Mesa thing that's been really bugging me because I don't think Mesa is needed in XFCE I could be wrong but or I could just stay on i3 here. But uh, I do have plans for some videos coming up. And I know that AccuBase has some ideas on the sailfish stuff. So if you guys want to see anything specific with that, please let us know. And we'll make a video for that. So hopefully you guys have a good week. And I'll try to get, uh, get on making the video for the end of the week. So... Have a good night, guys, and I'll talk to you later.